uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not, de did not demand worship. Now today, what you have is most people denying not that aspect of the biblical revelation. They'll say Jesus was just a man. They'll deny the deity of Christ, as various groups do. Where do you go to find evidence of that? Well, you have all the references where Jesus is called God. John 1.1. 1, 1. You have John 20.28, 20, where Thomas says, My Lord and my God. You have Titus 2.13 and 2 Peter 1.1, 1, 1, Our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. So the term God is used of Christ. Romans 9.5 is another that, that is possibly applying that very same term to Jesus. But beyond that, you have all sorts of other evidences of the deity of Christ. You have the fact that in Colossians chapter 1, he is described as the creator of all things, not all other things, as the New World Translation of Jehovah's Witnesses puts it, but he creates all things. If you're the creator, you yourself are not a created being. In Philippians chapter 2, it is said that he has eternally shared the very nature of God, but did not regard that equality he had with the Father something to be grasped or held on to but laid that aside and took on the form of man in Philippians chapter 2. You have all these evidences, and then there's a, a tremendous uh, testimony from the Gospel of John. He is called the I Am, and that the, the I Am verses in, in, in John 8.58, before Abraham was, I Am. He told the Jews in John 8.24, unless you believe that I Am, you will die in your sins. When the soldiers come to take him in the garden, when he says, I am, they fall back upon the ground. John couldn't make it any more plain than that. And while that does go back to Exodus 3.14 and the burning bush, it's even more closely connected to the very same phraseology used in Isaiah and in the Minor Prophets as a name for Jehovah God. You have the text that identified Jesus as Jehovah in Hebrews chapter 1, John chapter 12, numerous passages. And then there's that which we Christians tend to unfortunately forget. And that is, there's so many things that Jesus says that's because we are used to reading the Bible. We put them into, into a certain context, but there's so many things he says that no created being could ever say, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Can you imagine Moses saying that? Can you imagine Isaiah saying that? Matthew chapter 11, verse 27, no one knows the Son except the Father. Can you imagine Isaiah saying, I am such a great person that no one knows me except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom He wills to reveal Him. Those would be words of blasphemy on the part of anyone. And so there's this huge amount of information in all the Gospels where Jesus says and does things. No human being who was not the God-man could ever say those words without committing utter blasphemy. And so the testimony of Scripture is, Jesus Christ is the God-man. Uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not, de did not demand worship. Uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not, de did not demand worship. Uh, the reason that early Christians treated him as divine, uh, early Jewish believers treated him as divine <clears throat> and worshipped him was because they believed that God had exalted him to heavenly glory and now required him to be treated that way. The Christological claims of the New Testament and the devotional practice of the New Testament are heavily focused on Jesus, but they have a fundamentally theocentric basis. They believed that God had done certain things, raising, exalting, confirming, and conferring upon Jesus curioship. Uh, the historical Jesus did not say that he was divine, did not, de did not demand worship. 